So here you can see the solar boost charge controller, 250 watt, um, actively taking in a charge and then uh, actually feeding the MPPT 100 uh, 20 controller that I have from Victron. Um, why did I do this? Um, because I have new lithium batteries and I needed the uh, temperature controls uh, so that I wasn't trying to charge the battery in the severe cold or the severe heat. Um, originally it stemmed from thinking that this Victron would also be able to boost, uh, but it can't. Um, and uh, since my existing controller has worked fine for uh, three or four years now, um, I saw no reason why I couldn't just feed that through instead of purchasing another component. And it has been working fine for the last uh, six months. So, um, but the root reason why we ha uh, did this was because of the uh, lithium ion batteries that we purchased and picked up. We have our solar charger here. Now we're going to have to see if we can reset it for the lithium batteries. So hold that down. Let me see what happens here. There we go. And then we got to hit that down. 72 self. Got rid of my old lead acid. Right Purchased back. was the uh, Time USB Pro batteries. They're one amp hour batteries, 12 volt, and I got four, and I put them in series. A couple things I can say about Time USB is they have a five year warranty listed on their box, and uh, it's easy to, uh, once you buy the batteries, it's easy to get it registered. You just record the serial numbers and email it to the company. Uh, the batteries came very quickly, uh, within two days. It looks like they're warehoused in Pennsylvania. Um, they do have an extensive manual that uh, explains a lot about how to install them, how to charge them up when you get them, because you only get them at about 30% charge for safety reasons. And we followed that and uh, charged them all up and then got them in series and installed them in the boat. So, uh, some other modifications that we've made to the boat was we took the uh, inboard drive shaft and we moved it uh, further up on uh, in the, to the center of the boat. Uh, we took the external tiller post and moved that uh, and put it through the boat to allow for the sail travel to be uh, an easier uh, mechanism and also for um, uh, so we don't have such a huge profile at the dock because it's so expensive. Dock space is so expensive. Uh, that's worked well. Um, we've also built our own tabernacle main mast that we then use as a crane to get the mizzen in and out as well. Uh, it's been a while. So opening up the Victron, I found it's a very robust unit. Uh, ample cooling fins on it. Um, and it just uh, presents as uh, very sturdy. Initially, when I bought it, I thought it had the boost function and read and combed through the manuals and then came to the realization that it didn't. So that was the source of some frustration and I hope uh, if you have the same impression, initial impression, um, I can save you some pain. <laughs> Uh, the manual is very good. It shows you how to program it, how to set it up, how to use the Bluetooth to monitor the batteries. I had it in conjunction with a shunt and a battery device that records the temperature at the battery. Um, here we can see the um, two units working together. Looking at the results from both the boost controller and the MPPT, I don't see an appreciable loss between the two uh, on the 
860 watts of solar that I'm pouring into the batteries. Um, there again, it seems to work pretty good. Um, you know, in my ignorance, I had not bought a complete package. I had bought the Victron Solar uh, controller and uh, the boost actually is a lot less than the Victron components and it's boosting the power fine at a, uh, what appears to be a very efficient rate. So um, we're going to continue going on this and see how it goes. Uh, so any feedback you guys have would be uh, awesome. And uh, any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. Go down this journey and see how uh, see how it works. Okay. Thank you all for watching, and please uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you like it. Thanks a lot. Bye.